All right, guys, we're out here with the Sky Sedan that I uh, built from the little ready-to-fly kit, sort of ready-to-fly. I added more dihedral uh, by bending in and epoxying it in. You can see I've gotten some things misaligned and whatnot, but it's going to fly um, or die trying. Anyway, uh, we've CG'd the airplane, uh, as was shown in the previous video, so the next thing to do is to see if we can get it to glide. Quite breezy out here, um, but we're going to see what we can do. We're going to glide it into the wind. And that got hit by a wind gust. That wasn't great. Wind is definitely swirling here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that looks all right. A little bit nose heavy. Um, and per the plans, uh, our instructions, uh, it's, it needs some, um, the CG is about right. So we're going to add some up elevator. All right, so I've been in a little bit of up trim. Let's see what happens now. And not much change. Let's try one more time. All right, that's not bad. I think we can use that as a starting point. And it's not rolling off to one side or anything, so always a good sign. Say hi. Say hi. Say bye. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Yeah. See the camera? No, not interested. Okay. No, well, it's not terrible. It's not happy. It is definitely cranking into the right. All right, so I bent in some uh, some left rudder there, added in a little more up trim. This plane's definitely flying nose low. You can see how crooked I got that one wing versus the other. And yet it's going to fly just fine. It looks, though, to me like the tail actually is crooked. Because from up front, the wing looks like it's all right. So I think it's just that they glued the fuselage together crooked. Because it's a two-piece fuselage. You see that seam. This was very easy to get that going on. Wow, that's getting out of dodge and not turning. Turned too much before and now not enough. Oh, fun. I hate retrieving from that tree. That rear hook or front prop shaft is already proving to be a problem. Motor is just wrapping around it like crazy. I give it a decent amount of power since it seems to not have any really bad habits. This is the uh, the problem. You can see the motor is wrapping around that prop shaft, and nothing you can do to stop it.
Thing's got some legs to it. I'm impressed. Oh, dang. By a miracle, I found the front end assembly, and then we put a proper reverse S-hook prop shaft on it. So hopefully it'll work now. Um, and so we go after more lift. So this little airplane has um, surprised me, to say the least. I really was not expecting much out of it. Uh, I know Bill, like I said uh, before, Bill Cool has built one of these, and he got some decent flights, but it was not anything uh, spectacular. And uh, I knew that he needed more dihedral, uh, but beyond that, you know, it was a question of, I, I don't know. Um, but the combination of the right rubber in it and the extra dihedral really seems to help. The built-in right thrust is a nice touch and it does help. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm still, I don't care for the front end assembly, I really don't. However, the airplane flies remarkably well in spite of it. And there's something to be said for that. The, uh, the airplane just seems well proportioned enough to deliver in spite of the compromises that are made there and so you get a, a very flyable airplane obviously like i said there's a, a couple of modifications to make i epoxied everything instead of the uh um sticky tape well i used the sticky tape but i epoxied over it uh, i'd say the one other the one real thing that i've noticed is i actually think the airplane may be a tiny bit um nose heavy with uh, everything as is however it flies fine i mean that glide uh, you're not going to get a lot better glide out of an airplane this size with a big freewheeling propeller that has a clutch that doesn't work great and uh, and a freewheeling propeller uh, which speaking of which uh, I, if anybody knows where i can get more of these propellers please tell me i want about 500 of them uh, and that's not a joke, seriously. If any of y'all can tell me where to get more of this specific propeller, I want more of them. They will, uh, I can get them and I can supply them with kits and make you all happy because an embryo kit with that propeller would be sick. Absolutely sick. Fantasticness. This propeller is very, very nice uh, as far as the blade shape. Spinner, I <laughs> have forget the spinner. I couldn't care less about that. I just like the propeller blades. They're really nice. If they made one that's a 9 inch, I'd really like that. Even better than some of my P30 props, and I've got good P30 props. So anyway, um, there you have it. Hopefully we'll have one video clip after this of this thing hunting in a thermal. 
I'm gonna try to make that happen on camera. We'll see what happens. We'll see you. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.